What's up guys, good morning, welcome to video number two. I'm out here in California with my girlfriend and we're having a bit of an adventure. And today, I don't really know how to start this video off, I don't know how to intro what we're about to do. However, it is a personal bucket list of myself and my girlfriend. For as long as I can remember, when I was four or five, I was growing up watching wildlife documentaries and I think we we're all partial to a little bit of David Attenborough on planet Earth or Blue Planet. Today, Monterey Bay is very well known for Car Week and Pebble Beach and all of the car events that happen in August. It is also a marine wildlife sanctuary. Out there in Monterey Bay, there are a bunch of whales, dolphins, sea lions, and it's just widely known and respected as being one of the best places to whale watch. So if you are not interested in wildlife, then I'll probably skip the next four minutes and then catch up with me and my girlfriend whilst we head back to LA, check into our Airbnb and see what cars are kicking around in Los Angeles. But right now, I'm so excited. My passion and interest for animals and wildlife goes way before I even discovered my love for cars. So what is about to happen right now is an absolute bucket list moment and I just hope that I can capture it. We're about to head on two boats. I'm going to try and check out some whales. we go. Firstly, I'm on a very wobbly boat, but we are surrounded by whales. I'm just keeping my eyes peeled. I can just see these blowholes coming out. We've got like a tour guide helping us locate them, but I can see one literally like my 11 o'clock. So uh, check out the whale, the whale place, whale, whale country, whale seas. Single-handedly, one of the hardest things to film in the entire world. No wonder there's a 10-year gap between Planet Earth and Planet Earth 2, or Blue Planet and Blue Planet 2. Lucky we're going on two boats because I'm literally the worst person at pointing a camera into the sea because right now it is so calm, you literally, it could come up at any moment. But, I mean, how are you supposed to guess well, hopefully we continue where, at, where it's going to come up? But we're going to watch all directions. Wow. Normal vlogs resume. The whales were cool though, weren't they? You can talk. Oh uh, yeah, they were. Yeah. Really amazing. And now we're hungry. A day on the sea means that we're not hungry. So I gave Kelly the choice of McDonald's or In-N-Out and we're in in and out There is a queue building. Cars behind and this one car, it's a Lexus 2 one in front of this Mazda that is has ordered like the entire restaurant. Here we go, we're moving a little bit. This is like it's not quite in and out as it suggests by its name up there. It's more in. Wait a bit. Wait a bit more. And then out. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a Perfect. Good it's driver friendly. Can we take it? Yep. Okay. Oh, 
we have made it. Made it back to Los Angeles. The beast is parked up over there and it took us around five hours to get back. Stopped off for, well, the in and out which you saw and uh, well, it's pitch black but we have made it to our Airbnb and uh, this is the final bag to make it and uh, yeah, here we go. Feels good to be back. Oh, yes. Monterey Bay complete. We have now made it to our rest stop for the next seven days, which is in West Hollywood. And well, whilst it's dark, it's probably not the best time to show you this place. But I will see you first thing in the morning. Good morning, come in and welcome to our Airbnb. And what I'm gonna do now is take the camera and show you guys around what we have here because this is the living room space and uh, we've got a sofa. It is very well decorated. I have to say that when I was looking at Airbnbs, it took me about an hour and a half to get the right place and uh, it's just got some really nice decor. We've got an Eiffel Tower here in gold. Everything is color coordinated to olive, gold and white. Thankfully, we have got an air conditioning unit because it is still around 35 degrees. So we've got a grand piano, not very grand, but we've got a piano with gold petal leaves there and we move on to breakfast and the kitchen the kitchen's fairly chilled not really much to show you in the kitchen apart from the all-important MTV cribs which is about 10 years out of date the fridge orange juice water dr. pepper root beer and some sauce that looks out of date. So this is where we're going to be based for the next seven days. I've got myself an underground parking slot for the cars that I'm going to be having throughout the duration of this trip. At the moment I've still got the Dodge Challenger. That goes back today so by the time this video goes live I might have already picked up the next car which is a bit more muscle and definitely very American. However, the secret party trick to this place, which I discovered late last night as I was trying to work out where we are supposed to be parking, is somewhere in this block of apartments. Someone has customized a Chevrolet Camaro to levels I've never seen before. So right now, apologies for this going right to the end of the video, but let me show you this unreal Camaro. I bloody hope it's there, because it was there last night. But let me show you it. Right, I'm just gonna keep recording, because if I come across anyone, there's a car here. <gasps> right, let me show you guys a Camaro that is ready for the zombie apocalypse. Is it there? Yes. Is there anyone here? No. Guys, check this out. This is like a Mad Max. This is the coolest car I've seen in LA. Oh man, it's got like purple lights in there, all blacked out. Got like desert floodlights up at the front. But it is completely modded, massive wheels, crazy suspension. <laughs> Try and sneak around here and show you guys the back. Oh man. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen a car customized like that before. You only ever see renders on Instagram of things looking like that. Oh man, just all blacked out, black number plate. I'm gonna take one last look at it. I think it's fair to say that that was a ridiculous 48 hours. Not only did we get to see humpback whales, which I never thought that I'd ever be filming and documenting for my own YouTube channel. I didn't even think that I was ever gonna be able to have the opportunity of going to the west coast of California and doing that. And now we have made it West Hollywood, 
with a crazy Mad Max style Camaro underneath. And over the next few days, I'm gonna be chopping and changing my cars. We're heading to a couple of supercar events this weekend. And this is when things start to pick up. So now I have finished moving about and we are basing ourselves here for the next seven to 10 days. So I'm starting to feel a little bit more settled now. It is a little bit weird coming to Airbnb. My first experience here, it is a little bit weird. It's a little bit unsettling because trying to fall asleep when this house or this block of apartments is making noises that I'm not used to. This is someone's home. So for them, they're probably used to hearing the door go upstairs or the air conditioning unit click and things like that. But for me, this is something that I'm gonna get, have to get used to over the next seven days or so. But it is beautiful, perfect location, and it has parking. So everything that I needed, all of the boxes have been ticked. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this vlog. And I promise the next one is gonna feature some pretty awesome cars. So I will see you then.